Oh, talking of dogs, you know old Mr. Burkitt died the other week? I don't know if I mentioned. His wife's looking for a home for that little cocker spaniel they had. She was wondering if perhaps you might I be interested. I don't think so, Mrs. Warboys. Thank you. How's the travel sickness now, by the way? I haven't heard you wretch since Basildon. Best not to remind him of it, I think, could you? Oh, yeah. I remember on my flight to Los Angeles, the man next to me, everything he'd had for dinner, the enchiladas and the refried beans, <laughs> those sick bags and never watertight at the best of them. Right, stop the car. <laughs> Will you pull over? No, please. Still, nice to get a little break for a change. Recharge your batteries. Yes. Don't think we'll be booking any more long weekends to Hamburg in a hurry. What with Victor wandering into that brothel to post a German sausage to his brother. <laughs> that didn't do his hernia any good, believe me. Oh, yes. When's he having it looked at? Tomorrow morning, his next appointment. Looks as if they'll have to operate, which is another thing that's worrying him silly. All out now, Mr. Meldrew. <laughs> Can we not talk about it, please? Just drive. doing <laughs> and I know because Chris had it done a few years ago nowadays mr. Meldrew a hernia repairs one of the simplest operations there is the only worry is if if they have to take one of your testicles away at the same time. <laughs> is that a fact? Which is quite common, apparently. But then, you can always have an artificial one put in. <laughs> when I was in Los Angeles, there was a clinic in Beverly Hills advertising them in the supermarkets. $65 each, plus tax. <laughs> or three for 150 <laughs> Yes, well, I'll just... <laughs> Three? Anyway, I'd better love you and leave you. You want to get settled in? I expect you'll both be ready for an early night. Yes. We'll be fine now, Jean, if you want to get along. I'll see you tomorrow, about 12. Yes, right. Bye. <laughs> 